Salutations, respected viewers. Uh, I'm George from Ireland. I'm on Adam Street in London, and uh, behind me is the house of Sir Richard Arkwright. So, <clears throat> Adam Street in itself is another story named after the celebrated uh, 18th century Scots architect, John Adam, and the adjoining street around the corner, that is John Adam Street. Uh, anyway, so um, Arkwright was born in 1732, he grew up in the Midlands, uh, his father was, was a tradesman and uh, Arkwright himself, he went into a similar line of work, um, he used to make perukes, that being the stage in the, in the 18th century when um, self-respecting members of the bourgeoisie and the upper orders, they all wore um, their periwigs, white ones usually powdered and all the rest of it. And indeed he was a barber because we didn't have these um, cheap disposable razors at home. You know, you might go, depends how wealthy you were, go to get shaved once a week or something like that by the barber with a cutthroat razor. So obviously good with his hands. Thinking about um, how it was, uh, what would the word be? Nominative determinism with his, uh, with his surname, Arkwright. Because Wright, spelled W-R-I-G-H-T, is somebody who makes or repairs things like Plowright making and mending plows, or sea right, making and mending boats, not, not the sea and so forth, or just right on its own. So arc right, meaning like making boxes, wooden trunks, something like that. Not Noah's Ark, I don't think. Anyway, so um, uh, textiles was increasingly important. Could they mechanize it, not make everything by, by, by hand? There were cottage industries, people given the cloth or whatever, the orders to make things and just doing it at home and eventually People saying no it's more efficient we make them come to us in a factory we do it on looms we have these mills powered by the water and you're working around the clock almost depending on how, how fast the water was flowing how much these things the, the looms were going to produce how fast they're going to work but anyway he invented the spinning jenny which hugely speeded up this process so it made him an absolute fortune by modern terms he's a multi he was a multi-millionaire and he'd, he'd grown up in a, in a lower middle class family so he moved here to london bought this fine pile and filled it with very pricey furniture. You know, he was into technology, so the technology wasn't terribly advanced by the time he died um, in 1792. Uh, but he liked to have the latest fashionable furniture. Unfortunately, after, after his death, his son sold most of it on. But uh, that's where it is, um, Arkwright's house. So he was a very notable figure at the time. You learn about him in, in, in history TCSE if you're learning about trains and drains, the Industrial Revolution and so on. But uh, these days he's more or less lost to remembrance. That's Sir Richard Arkwright.